Hello, and now you're back again with me, Patrick from Tennis Trading League. Thanks for staying with me for the last five days, and I really hope you've received plenty of useful stuff that will help you with your Betfair trading activities. But today, as promised, I'm going to show you an exact Betfair trading strategy so that you can start using it right now. This trading strategy has been designed for Betfair tennis market and is very easy and simple to use. You just need to open the necessary Betfair market and some live score website to follow the player's performance and see the points being scored. Of course, you can follow the match on the TV as well. But even if you don't have the satellite connection or the particular match isn't televised, you can follow the live scores and implement the strategy successfully. Go to the following website, www.interwetton.com and click on the live betting link. This is the place where you'll follow the match and see the points scored by the players. But first, you have to choose a qualifying match for trading and make sure it has good liquidity. As you remember, we were talking about the liquidity in one of the previous video lessons and speaking in simple terms, it means that a Betfair market you'll be trading on needs to have a good amount of money available for matching. If the market is too quiet, the odds won't be well distributed and there'll be big gaps between them. And most worryingly, there will be sudden spikes in the price trend and sometimes, for instance, the lay side will become moneyless. So open this website, form.tennis.betfair.com forward slash tennis and here you have all the live tennis matches listed. The matched amount figure which describes the market liquidity can be seen here. The figure you'll be looking at is around 100,000 and more. If it's smaller, you won't be able to trade successfully. Of course, a match with around 90,000 is still a qualifier. It's just a rough guideline. But most of the big matches have considerably bigger amounts of money matched, and it's really a no-brainer. Once you find a qualifying match which is live on Betfair and can be followed on the Live Score website, you're ready for action. By following this strategy, you have to trade on the receiving player only. In other words, the player who receives the serves. How can you see which one of the players it is, you may ask? Well, it can be seen very well on the Live Score website. Here at the bottom of the table, you can see the game point descriptions with the respective players next to them. If it says game, it means the respective player was serving. Break means that the player was receiving the opposite player's serves. From these descriptions, you can easily understand which player is serving in the game being played right now. You'll be much better off trading on the player with the smallest odds, respectively the favourite player. The reason behind this is a better liquidity on the favourite player's side and better odds distribution, which is very important when opening and closing the trade. And of course, exiting the trade with a loss in case the market goes against you. So let's enter the Betfair market. You can do it from here and get ready for trading. Just position the live score odds window in the Betfair market so that you can successfully follow both websites. OK, now I'm going to tell you what is the trigger factor you should be looking at. You have to have in place a back bet on the favourite player when he receives the underdog serves. But there's only one condition. He must be strong enough to potentially win the whole game. And a point scored at the beginning of the game is evidence good enough. Ideally, you should look at a situation when the favourite player has won the previous game and with an obvious advantage. In short, you want to make sure the favourite player is at the top of his performance and can potentially win the next game despite the fact that he's going to receive the serves, which is always more difficult. As you can see, right now the favourite player scored a point while receiving a serve from the underdog, so this is a good moment to place a back bet on him. I'm going ahead with it and the bet is matched. Now I have to wait and see what happens next. And this is the right moment to explain the exit strategy to you, as it's a very important point. After you have placed the first bet on the favourite, you have to closely watch the events on the field. If the underdog scores a point, you have to immediately lay off the favourite. It's an indicator that he's probably not going to make it in this game, and it's better to exit the trade with a tiny loss. You see, the receiving favourites odds won't have dropped significantly if the underdog scores, and especially at the beginning of the game. So the risk level here is very small, and you can basically lose the difference between the back and the lay sides. This is why this exit strategy even doesn't need any acceptable loss calculations. The odds just can't drop below the initial back price. What you need to wait for 
is the receiving favourite player to score the break point, which is the same game point, just scored by a receiving player. If it happens, his odds will drop by a great margin, and you'll be able to make a very nice profit. And at any moment, if the underdog scores a point, you can lay the favourite off. If, let's say, the favourite player has scored two or three points in a row, and the underdog scores the next point, you can either close the trade or wait a bit more. In the first case, you will certainly break even as the first scored points by the favourite will have already pushed his odds down a little bit. And of course, if you wait on the favourite player to score the break point, you will see his odds will drop and you'll be able to make a nice profit by laying him off at a much smaller price than you backed him at. To put it simply, this strategy is based on the receiving favourite player to score a number of points in a row and score a break point at the end, which makes his odds drop by a great margin. As you can see now, I'm laying the favourite player off as he scores the break point. I'm making the profit purely on the favourite player because he's got a bigger chance of winning the whole match. I will equalise the profit between both players only if I see that the underdog starts performing very well and the favourite's odds drift out closer to the odds mark of two. However, it's completely up to you, and if you prefer not following the match till the end, you can surely split the profit between the players by adjusting the lay stake on Betfair, using the green button on BetAngel Basic Screen, or using the greening function in BetAngel Professional Version. You can, of course, follow the match on the TV, and then you'll be able to place the bets faster, because the live odds updates have a slight delay. However, as there's always a break between the scored points, you'll have no difficulties with placing the bets and closing the trade. Well, I hope you'll be able to use this strategy very soon and see the potential in Betfair tennis trading. This Betfair market, to my opinion, is the best for trading as the odds movements are fairly predictable. There are only two possible outcomes, either the favourite or the underdog wins. So any event on the court directly impacts the player's odds. And if you know the right moments to open and close the trades, you can certainly start making nice Betfair trading income. I have put all my knowledge of tennis trading in my tennis trading league systems, scalping methods similar to the strategy I just gave you, long-term trading, and many more methods and approaches for maximising the Betfair trading income. Well, my fellow Betfair trader, thanks for staying with me for so long, and tomorrow you'll hear from me again. I'm going to show you a very, very simple way of getting some extra cash into your Betfair account.